A company learned that the demand function for a product is P equals to 48 minus 3Q. The P represents the unit price and Q quantity. So we are asked to obtain the revenue function. So revenue equals to what? P times Q, okay? So P is what? 48 minus 3Q. So substitute P with 48 minus 3Q times Q. Alright, so from here, 48 times Q is 48Q minus 3Q squared. Alright, so settle. <coughs> this part A is now here. Revenue is PQ, settle. Then part B, determine Q so that revenue is maximized. So two steps. Huh? Step first, uh, step is to find DRDQ, which is 48Q becomes 48. 3Q squared becomes what? 6 q Then this one equals to? 0. <coughs> 48 minus 6 equals 0. 48 equals to 6q and q equals to 8. Alright? So second step, we differentiate second time. So differentiate 48, no q, no need to differentiate. Negative 6q become negative 6. So negative 6 is less than 0. Hence q equals to 8 will maximize the revenue. <coughs> okay? So part B, Q equals to 8, huh? maximize the value. <coughs> so next step, is, next question is, we are asked to find the maximum revenue. So what we do is, we substitute Q equals to 8. Alright? So when Q equals to 8, substitute into revenue function, we will get R equals to 48 times 8 minus 3, 8 square. So from here, 48 times 8 is 384. 8 square 64 times 3 is 192. So 384 minus 192 is 192. Alright? Okay? Clear now? Yeah. Alright, so maximum revenue equals to 192. Okay? So let's go to the January paper for a while. Slide 9 and 11. Okay, try to answer this quickly. <coughs> okay. This is the January 2009 paper, 20 marks here. Uh, this is the real one, exam paper. Right? You can do this, you have no problem. Nothing. A company learned that the demand function for a product is 3000, P equals to 3005 minus 5Q. Where P represents the unit price and Q is the quantity demanded for the product. Okay, obtain the revenue function. See, the same question. Find revenue function. Then find Q that will maximize the revenue. And then find the maximum value of revenue. See, that? Ulang aja. If you focus, you sure can get 20 marks of it. Okay, so part A, revenue equals to P times Q. Where P, you substitute with 3,500 minus 5Q. Okay, 3,500 minus 5Q, you <coughs> sold down P in it. So you get 3,500 minus 5Q times Q. Yeah. Simplify, you get 3,500Q minus 5Q squared. This January paper is in the forum. Huh? You can download with the answers together. But the mistake just now, I will correct the, the answers and upload again. Huh? So okay now, part A okay, huh? Okay, part B determine Q so that revenue is maximum. So from revenue 3500 Q minus 5Q square, you find DRDQ. You get 3500 minus 10Q. Then this answer equals to zero to find Q. So you get 3500 equals to 10Q. Therefore, Q equals to 350. Okay? But we 
must prove that it will maximize the revenue. So go to step number two. D two R D Q square. So from here, differentiate one more time. You get negative ten. So negative ten means maximum. Therefore, Q equals to three fifty will maximize the revenue. Okay, any question? Boleh ya semua? And the last part, same thing. You are asked to find the maximum revenue. So we have already proven that Q equals to 350. Maximize the revenue. So now you substitute into the revenue function. So you will get 3,500 times 350. Yeah? Right? Minus 5 times 350 square from the revenue function. Yeah? So you will get 1,225,000 minus 612,500. So the revenue will be 612,500. Therefore, the maximum revenue is 612,500. Okay? Yeah, <coughs> nah?